Like imagine you are a local government chairman, right? And they kind of pay you 800 million naira for your local government. And you are not a thief. Because all of them, they condemn them right now. And to those of us who know Nigeria very well, right? A lot of you are only waiting for your turn. Now, if you want to prove to the world that, uh, no, you are not where you want to, this country has to work, then maybe you should go and join the local government. Become local government chairman, chairwomen, uh, councillors. Because your money now comes to you. You don't have to care about who is the governor. Now, you can actually begin to implement that your idea of Nigeria that you want to get through election, right? You can possibly begin to infiltrate those uh, sectors, right? That are particular local government areas and use the money to change the lives of your people. I'm just saying. But I know saying my imagination won't wound me. I even wrote it in the description that maybe not my imagination. But I'm not the only person who probably is uh, currently choking on imagination. Even people from Abia, I saw them dance to the news. Wherever Tifnubu go, we will go. Oh, yeah, Emma, oh, yeah, Emma, Oze, we go. Ah, I eat it out. I can't speak Hebrew very well, very well. But I'm going to sing this. It's a very common song. When they hear the news that the local government money will be going to the local government straight, see the local government staff in one of the Abia State uh, local governments. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know I didn't sing it well, but that's what I heard. So they were singing that uh, wherever Tifnubu goes, they will go. Tifnubu lead, we will follow. Thank you. Thank you. Something like that. When I scam, and you come back here and tell me, and say, am I going to say it all? Stop making, stop, see, stop making it look like it, it takes a genius to see through their lies. It doesn't take a genius. A lot of you are just so much carried away. I mean, hang on. You have been stabbed with uh, good news so much that anything you can manage. But when you begin to look at the substance, you begin to look at it very well. You realize that uh, it is Genji. It is Genji. But because it is Tifnumbu as well, right? And it is a lawless place where they could do whatever they want as well. Yeah. Uh, maybe Tifnubu can just pay them. But it's all scam, okay? It's not going to pay you directly. The idea now that uh, the, the are state governors are currently, they are meeting. I'll tell you what they say later, though. So they are meeting to uh, decide what is going to be the next line of action. There's no way we're going to let this pass. No way. But it's a good thing. They should let it pass. They should, they should call their own, uh, the lawmakers that uh, the senators and reps from their states and tell them to go change that section of the constitution that says that, and then close the joint account. Let the local government chairman present their own bank account. The, the, the local government account, present that and receive the money so that uh, you can begin to actually hold your own councillors, your own uh, local government chairman and all that. Here you get. Somebody said, ah, if they give them the money directly, you will see how many local government chairmen that will be chased by the EFCC. Because some of them don't even live in, the, in their own local government areas. Really? So now you will live in your local government area, okay? Now you, you uh, the Gen Z or the, especially you, the obedience, this is your chance. If that the Nigeria you believe you can save, right? This is your chance. So call if call means it all. And then you push your revolution enough if you do push one though. Because you are the one who has the number though. 
you have over 6 million and you said you are more than 20 million as well. I'm just saying, okay, I do imagine things. And when I imagine things, I can easily pass them on and say, do you have a minute to imagine it too? So before imagination wound me, okay, I am only talking to those who believe that they can rescue Nigeria. We call people like you deluded. I like you. You know, it's something. I like people who are still doing something, okay? And we are united because we have a common enemy, an establishment that has taken so much from us. The one that loves to keep us divided enough that we will never be strong enough to fight them, right? So I like you. So continue to give it a shot. Hmm? So I'm just saying, you know, if you want to go that route, it will help. Seriously. You've already tasted uh, their rigging. You've tasted uh, their brutality. And if you want to get them, well, this may be your chance. Except that it will never happen. You know? Now, you see this Samoa deal, Samoa deal. Hmm. They have made it more about the LGBT, about uh, the homosexuals and the stuff like that. Others are saying, but there are other good things in it. But nobody wants to touch it anymore. Initially, they said, oh, Tip Nungu and his gang said, there's so much misinformation about uh, the Samoa deal. People are saying, are you mad? We are reading things here. We can see how they tweak this word here and there. What we are just saying is that uh, there are good stuff in there that will benefit a lot of Nigerians and all that. But there is no point in lying to them, okay? If you have law in your country that is against this part of uh, this agreement, all right, you should clear that first, but don't sign it at all. Now, they said over 180 House of Representatives members are telling Tifnubu not to implement it, but Tifnubu is saying, he will implement it. But look at, listen to this guy. He's from, uh, I think, Kano. Federal government. The House notes that on June 28, 2024, the federal government signed what is known as the Samoa Agreement with the European Union, e EU, to boost food security and inclusive economic development among other vital areas. Concern that the agreement allegedly has some clauses that compel underdeveloped and developing nation to support lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender LGBT, LGBT community as condition for getting financial and other support from advanced societies. Also concern that Article 97 of the alleged agreement which states no treaty convention, agreement, or arrangement of any kind between one or more member states of European Union or one or more member states of o OACPS members shall impede the implementation of this agreement is seen as supremacy clause and thus violate Nigeria's sovereignty. Worried that other articles, especially Article 2.5, 29.5, 36.2, and Article 88 in the Samoa Agreement that was signed by the federal government may be inimical to the interests of Nigeria as a country and the values of our people as a whole. More so, it does not contain a reservation clause. Aware that Article 2.5 states that all parties systematically promote a gender perspective and ensure that gender equality is mainstream across all countries. Also worried that the phrase gender equality, as reported, is a Trojan horse for deceptively bringing in all sorts of immorality to our country, as gender no longer means sexes, male and female, as traditionally understood. It now includes homosexualism, lesbianism, transgenderism, and animalism. Father worried that the signing of such an agreement with the aforementioned clauses, if true, 
violate our sovereignty and is a clear contravention of section 12.1 of 99 constitution as amended. The federal government may have signed the agreement without exhaustive consultation and consideration for possible long-term consequences. Resolve to call on the federal government to suspend the implementation of the Samoa agreement until all controversial clauses are clearly defined to make sure that they do not violate any law in Nigeria. Mandate the Committee on National Planning and Economic Development justice, treaties, protocols, and agreements to interface with the relevant agencies to resolve all gray, gray areas in the agreement and report back to the House within four weeks. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, before I sit down, this motion is sponsored by 88 members. Among them are five members of leadership, which includes the minority leader, of Nigeria. Great. 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 You won't need a car to travel. You won't need an aeroplane to travel. You will just say, I want to go to London. And you'll be in London. Whether you believe it or not, the time is coming when you won't need, you won't need a car to travel. You won't need an aeroplane to travel. You will just say, I want to go to London. And you'll be in London. So shall it be. That's how they run it in Nigeria. No, to the oh yes, you don't mix up, right? That's how they run it. They quickly they, they can quickly run it for you too. If you want to go to London and all of that. So yeah, these guys were like, oh, we don't want this in our country, sponsoring this or that, and all of that stuff. It is similar to give us uh, the money, don't give us condition. Papa, nobody will give you money, we don't go give you condition. That's why you have to make sure that you respect yourselves, okay. It's unfortunate to, you see, we're talking about Africa the other day. I don't know if you remember this, right? We're talking about Africa and how the, the West sees Africa. Now, the West does not see Africa. Sorry, the West does not see Africans. The West sees the wealth of Africa. You see all those precious uh, resources under our, under our soils, right? is what the West sees. They do not see us. Maybe to them, we are too dark to be seen. And it's unfortunate, right, that it was the Arabs that first came eh, to rape, to loot, to plunder, and destroy Africa. They succeeded to some extent. Hmm? But the West, eh, that's what they see in Africa. It is it is sad, though, okay, because it is about resources. Yeah, the same resources we have in Africa, the west of Africa. You see these resources that is so attractive or that attracted them to Africa. It's the same resources they have in Dubai. They have in all this uh, Arab Peninsula. Look at how the West is treating them. They didn't do anything special. No. They have oil. Saudi Arabia has oil. Then what happened? The West went there to protect the oil for their own good, and they treated the Saudis with respect till tomorrow. UAE was a backwater country. You can still go online, and you will still see the picture of uh, UAE, United Arab Emirates, Dubai, that everybody goes to now. Yeah? As recent as 1990, 1991. Backwater. But look at them today. What, what, are they, what did the West use to build the country for them? Their resources. They didn't tamper with them and say they must have democracy, this, they must have that. But in Africa, it is called the slave colony. 
no matter how nice, 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 nice they do to you, that's exactly how most of them see Africa, especially the majority of them who have uh, stolen from Africa, from their own parents, grandparents, and great-great-grandparents. So why? Why can't Africans be treated with the same respect? The resources are there, right? You want them. Now Africa have them. Take the ones you want to take. Pay the right price. Protect the area. Protect the people in the area. At least make life better enough. But no, they said the African leaders are the greedy ones. But yet, the stolen money, including the ones you are stealing, are all banked in your Western banks. Unfortunate, right? So yeah, nobody will give you money without giving you conditions. They will give you conditions. So the only way the world will not give you conditions when they want to give you money, when they beg you with their money, is when you begin to actually treat your own people right. And save us uh, your greed and all that. Because it's not different, right? You want Samoa money. EU money. Now they want you to kind of protect uh, the uh, human right, which includes the right of uh, the LGBTQ plus or plus plus. Now that's the condition. When the IMF and World Bank gives your country money, they tell you to go and amend uh, your monetary policies, increase your taxes, and all of that conditions. They give you conditions. You are being led by criminals who only seize money. Or so hypocritical enough that uh, they can brandish their religion, this, their religious, that, their traditions, this, tra tradition, that. But yet, every day, every now and then, their attitude, their actions completely negate the religion they are talking about. It negates the tradition they are talking about. It negates eh, the culture that they are talking about. Because what is the culture of stealing from your people? If you are a Christian and you are a Muslim, or you are from, like all of us, are from somewhere, right? How come that the culture, the tradition, did not compel you never to steal from them? Protect them and provide for them with the public fund rather than bank it outside the country. So what happened to that tradition? What happened to that religion? What happened to that culture? But it is only when it comes to the who sleeps with who that you can bring out your hypocrisy and begin to kind of sound sanctimonious. It's against our culture. Eh? If you want to give us money, give us money. Don't give us condition. It's against our culture. The same that uh, drinking alcohol is haram, but spending the VAT from alcohol is not haram. Hypocrisy. So if you want to be respected as a people without conditions every now and then, maybe you should begin to treat yourselves right and treat your people right too. I mean, that's, that should be the least you can do. Or yes, you see, it is the least. Very much hypocrites, uh, hypocritical uh, criminals everywhere. We don't want Samoa deal. It's against our culture. It's against our tradition. You go still see one word that will ask me. So my are you are you are you trying to say that we should sign? The, I'm saying reject all money and you will never see any conditions from anybody. The rogues in charge of Nigeria only see money. But you are jumping up and down, talking about your tradition, your culture, your, your religion. But yet all the horrible things that is happening to you are being done to you by those from your culture, from your tradition, from your religion, right? It is only where they are hypocrites. I mean, hypocrisy, religion, where they can use religion to say, we are religious people, it's against us. How about stealing? Hmm? How about uh, impoverishing or terrorizing your people? How about that? Those should be against your culture and tradition too. Same way, uh, who is sleeping with who has now become your culture and tradition, right? But the money attached to it, money, LGBT, no, you have to take both. No one. Take both. If you take this one, money, LGBT, you have to take two. So, mm, we don't want LGBT. Okay, you know what? We'll take both. We'll just tell them that it's no LGBTQ. It's human rights. It's yen, 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 yen. Now the controversy. Eh? The region with uh, drug uh, pandemic where, uh, you know, a larger population of uh, the young people in northern Nigeria have become drug addicts, including housewives. It is a pandemic in northern Nigeria. They will tell you it is around. 
Don't bring, they are destroying people's businesses. Who takes alcohol? Those who are taking beers and all of that stuff to northern Nigeria, they make spectacle out of that. It destroy millions and billions of uh, you know, businesses just because it is around to drink alcohol. I won't worry, but they are sniffing uh, shalanga. The worries that are sniffing shalanga, sniffing, sniffing soak away to get high. They are destroying businesses of people because it is against our religion. I hate hypocrites. I don't like hypocrites. Right? Anyway, uh, Tifnumbu has signed it and they are waiting to implement it. And mm, whatever uh, or however this uh, goes, right? Anything we shall go contribute to uh, the quick, uh, the quick uh, destruction of this establishment. Just call me. Anytime we fight today, we they want to hear themselves and all of that. Should you get now? Call me. I will, I will cover it for all of now and bring it to you. Should you get. So you have people who are, it's a place where people are just doing what they want. Yeah, whatever they, whatever they did is considered the, the right thing. And they can change to myself, oh, it's wrong. Okay, we're going to change it again and all that. That's not a country. It's an, I mean, it is a L O. See. So I was going to take, uh, I was going to read, but if I start reading now, we won't take calls. My fault, okay? I keep working on my, uh, on my start time. The problem is that I got myself uh, trapped in traffic. The old Glasgow right now is like they are having this construction here, this road rehabilitation here, road block here. One way there, so mental. So sometimes I have to run late, longer than usual, uh, unfortunately. But I'll keep trying to see the day I come early, we can reach and then I take calls too. Okay, so we're just going to take calls, reactions to what we have uh, discussed there so far. It's brunch time. And indeed, you know, you don't actually really have to say something about what we have said so far. Maybe something else that you've always wanted to say or share. So I'm going to take a break. And when I come back, I'll take calls before we wrap it up there today. Thank you. So please, so if you have to leave as well, share this, okay? Share it and all that, okay? And uh, if you are still going to be with me, then grab your phone, okay? I will be back. In the time of poverty like this, the economic principle of Yusuf is what everybody should apply in his own lives. It's need to save more. You don't know what is happening. Kese kese la anri lo wo a ma kasa kasa timbo wo. A dollar was just 800 naira or there about a couple of months ago. Now a dollar is over a thousand naira. How much will it go? Nobody knows who. So the tone say falafulu. Ogba salary. Salary yi kilawa. Eh? Igbe raga week. Or bearer, the Sunday light. Eat little and save more. Aye, tan jachiki kola waima. Aye, shawama koma. Aye, ice cream muko. Mugari. Jack mama. Bad benta and don't cause a beko. Nin chisel value. Kilo can chisel value. Kalu wikin. Jack mama. Mugari. Ori eja. Walai kureni. Bomba lo se fala folo pe lo wo iya o je oba ke This is the time to save more. Kaluku lo mantin salo o school awon I started by paying 25000 naira per term 2 years ago. Last year 50000. Wallahi this year is 100000 per child. Now imagine having four